How you doing? This is Geo with RandomTech.com. I'm going to show you how to root your Verizon Thunderbolt HTC. First, you're going to want to download these two files. I'll put the links in the description: TB Auto Root and then HTC Sync. Uh, once you install HTC Sync, you're going to want to connect your phone to your PC and set up debugging so go to menu settings applications development and USB debugging stay awake you also want to make sure you're in charge only mode and then you get started Click on TB Auto Root. Then Start Root. Pretty much just follow the directions. Make sure it's in charge only. USB debugging. Any key to continue. Do you want to start root from the beginning? Yes. Click one, enter. It's testing to see if your device is connected. It has uh, picked up our device right there. You don't see the uh, serial number. You want to make sure HTC Sync is uh, updated and you have your phone connected properly. But when you're ready, hit uh, enter to continue going to push all the files to your phone, RUU and BusyBox. So now we just wait until that's done. So after a few minutes, uh, it'll push the rest of the stuff to your phone after RUU, BusyBox, PS Neuter, MISC. You want to make sure you have a SD card in your phone before you do this. Um, the autoplay will start up on your phone because it gets uh, reconnected you can just close that out because HTC sync and it st restarts ADB <clears throat> but you want to make sure you have a storage card SD uh, installed because it writes these files to there um, also maybe want to uh, back up all your stuff before you start this because it will erase everything uh, you could use my backup pro there's a free and a uh, paid version uh, just uh, sorry just a paid version in the um, Android market, but you can back up your rooted and unrooted devices. A lot of people use a titanium backup, but you can only use that with a rooted device. Alright, so it restarted ADB. Um, it then checks for your device again. As you can see, picked up our serial number, and now it's saying um, we can press any key to continue. So go ahead and press that key. So the first step says unplug the USB cable from the computer so I'm just gonna unplug it from the computer not the phone alright bootloader will be highlighted in blue which it is press the power button to execute so I'm pressing the power button alright the screen will change and fast boot will be selected which it is uh, around 10 seconds it will then proceed to the next step saying checking PG05 which was pushed to the uh, SD card next step you should see several files load which we did don't freak the screen will eventually clear and you will see checking PG05 which we do eventually you'll need to be asked do you want to start the update this bar is almost done alright now it's saying do you want to start update volume up for yes so I'm going to hit the volume up. Now that the phone has done updating and finished through its cycle, we're going to press the power button to restart. Still want to make sure the phone is unplugged from the computer. And I'm going to hit power. Just let it reboot. You're not done yet. There's still more steps to follow. So don't close the uh, 
program on your computer yet. We're just going to let it reboot and uh, follow the steps. We're still at about this step right here, so there's a few more to go. I'm going to reboot my phone, and when it comes back on, we'll finish the rest of the steps. The phone's restarted. Just uh, unlock your screen. Just go next. You can skip the setup, skip Google. We're going to do all this later. Just skip all this for now. Next. Finish. All right. Let the phone uh, boot up, sense boot up. And once this uh, gets started again, we want to go uh, back in and enable US debugging and stay awake. We want to plug the um, Thunderbolt back into the computer. So I'm going to go menu, settings, oops, applications, development, USB debugging, okay, and stay awake. Go back out to the home screen. I'm going to plug the Thunderbolt back into the computer. Make sure it's in charge only. HTC Sync and your drivers will pick back up. And that's all connected uh, and you plugged in your phone charge only is on USB debugging stay awake you can continue on the program and press any key to continue it says continue to root after downgrade are you sure yes because we want to continue from the last step where we left off It's going to test to see if your phone's connected. You want to make sure your serial pops up again, which it does. If not, you want to make sure you're connected. The sync is set up and uh, USB debugging and stay awake is all on, charge only. And when you're ready to go, continue. So it pushes RUU. That takes the longest. Um, all the others are quick, uh, so it takes a couple minutes though. Um, but then you see BusyBox, PS Neuter, WP This, all, installs everything uh, again. So if your computer's not moving, don't worry, it takes some time. But there's the, the autoplay, you can uh, disable that. And it will restart ADB. Give it a few seconds. So, Once uh, it's connected, you want to make sure uh, that you see your serial number again. Press any key to continue. Goes through a f few more prompts. Pushes H boot. Moving, converting H boot. Transfers some files. Boots, your phone boots into bootloader. Screen should go black. Then you got the same white screen with fast boot and bootloader. And then you still have more instructions on your screen. So you want to follow those. Alright, the instructions say to 
unplug the USB cable from the computer. Do that now. Bootloader should be highlighted in blue, which it is. Press the power to execute. So I'm going to press the power button. Screen will change, fast boot will be selected. 10 seconds later, we'll then proceed. To the next step, you see several uh, files loaded and checked. So we're back to this screen. It's loading uh, PG05. You've got the status bar on the top right here. Mine's uh, the blue color right now. And that's going to go through a few times. So let's wait for that to finish. PG05 check is done, status bar completed. Uh, it asks, do you want to start update on your phone? Volume up for yes. Same thing we went through before, you're doing it again. That whole list, boot user data. It's going to go through that whole list. Uh, it looks like there's 11 things on it. Let's see, OK, OK, updating. It's just going to go down through the list of all of them. And then you still have a progress bar on your top right here. So I'll be back when all of those are completed updating. Phone's done updating, went through all 11 stages. Press the power button to reboot. So I'm gonna do that now. pretty much it. I'm going to boot um, your Thunderbolt's going to boot up. Let it do that. Um, don't forget to delete the PG05 IMG.zip file that's on your SD card. So get uh, File Explorer, Astro, um, I use ES Explorer. Get that from the market, it's free. Find the file on your zip card and delete it. It's PG05 IMG zip. And that's it. You're done. So, some of the things you can um, do when you're rooted you can tether, you can uh, do set CPU, you know, and underclock your phone, maybe save some battery. You can install some custom ROMs. Maybe I'll show you how to do that or review some ROMs later. But uh, it should be all set. Once your phone loads up, you'll have an application in there called Super User. And that's how you'll know that you are rooted. So let's, uh, let's check for that now. All right, I'll set all this up later. So next, skip, skip setup, next, 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 finish. Let sense load up. Pull up your application drawer. Scroll down. And there's super user. So we know we're rooted. Alright guys, thanks. Randomtech.com T-E-K, random tech.